What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Join the family if you feel like you want to, but you really don't have to. And if you're a turning subscriber, hi, how are you? How you doing? How you been? So, you guys, the last couple days have been a doozy. I literally just got home from the hospital like 10-15 minutes ago. And... So if you see this bandage, that's where my IV was. It was a hot mess. Um, I was there because they thought I had sepsis, but come to find out, I actually don't. They think I had a really bad kidney infection. But anyway, so I'm glad that's all over and done with. I'm glad to be home and with my kittens. So, yeah. And let me tell you, the second I walked in, I could hear Kala screaming at me like, Mom, where have you been? It was hilarious. So, your girl went a little crazy on Amazon. But, again, when do I not? So, I'm going to show you guys what I bought. So, let me pull the box down. So this is in no particular order. I'm just pulling stuff out of the box to show you guys. Because this is, I didn't just get this all in one day. This is kind of spaced out, but they came in like all over the place. So I bought another diamond painting. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but that's what it looks like. And this is a square diamond painting diamond. I have been in love with square diamonds. So I wanted to pick up a new one and this is so pretty like these colors are absolutely beautiful I cannot wait to start and I love that it comes with this humongous boat like these are the normal trays you get and then there's this huge tray which is so awesome so I'm so excited for that all right what else so I picked up this long sleeve shirt for work because I get really cold at work, like really, really cold. So anyway, um, <laughs> I don't know why I did it like that, but this t-shirt is interesting because it's moisture wicking. It is also like UVA, UVB protectant, odor wicking, odor reducing so hopefully it works it's just black because why not I didn't really want to buy a white because I work in a hospital you can understand why I didn't buy white picked up another diamond painting this is also a square one this is a 30 by 40 so this is a 30 by 40 I don't remember Okay, this is a 30 by 30, so it's a little smaller than this, but this painting looks absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to start this one. This just looks like something so surreal, and the colors are going to be absolutely gorgeous. Um, I literally just got this. When I came home, like, it was on my doorstep waiting for me. So I'm so excited to have this bad boy in my possession. I'm probably going to buy more because I'm obsessed with diamond painting. And I love square gems. All right, we'll do this one next. Okay, so this set I'm kind of disappointed in, but kind of impressed with. So I originally wanted the palette out of this set, but it I couldn't find the palette alone, so I bought all of this. So you get an eyeshadow, and you guys, do you see this? This is brand new, and there's hardly anything in it. Like, I have tried to squeeze it out, and nothing's coming out. So, like, I'm half tempted to get, like, a container and scrape it in to a container because, like, cut the top scrape it in there and use it that way because there is no way I'm going to be able to use this squeeze tube and like it's practically flat and this was brand new kind of disappointed in that then I got these brushes with it they're okay I mean they don't 
look that horrible, but they're mainly all eye brushes and like one or two face brushes. But it is what it is. I'm not that, you know, whatever. But here is the palette. This is the You Can Be Toffee Fusion palette. I mean, I probably could have gotten the palette by itself on the website. But I love You Can Be. And when I saw this palette, I was like, I have to own this. Look. Let me take the plastic off so you guys can see the true beauty of it. But look at this. These colors are stunning. So there are mattes and shimmers in here. I have not swatched this palette at all, but these shades are so beautiful. This is giving me kind of Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette vibes with like the dripping chocolate, like if you can see that in the background. But yeah, this is definitely like outside of my comfort zone with like the colors down here. So I'm really excited to play around with some of the brighter color, not bright colors, but some of the colors and the golds and the berry tones. But yeah, so there is that. All right. I also bought my dad something. I bought him weed whacker spools because he needed some. So, and he already has those. I picked up some Sleep Aid. This is 50 milligrams of basically Unisom. Um, I'm taking 25 milligrams and the ones I have now taste so bad. So I'm like trying to finish it up so I can just start taking this and hopefully it tastes better. This is the 250 soft gel count. I'm not a huge fan of soft gels, but I'll give it a try. All right. So I did get kind of a bit of W7 makeup in here. Let me grab my other two. Let me grab the other two. So I got this W7 It's Glow Prime Radiant Primer. This looked really pretty and had really good reviews online, but... I wanted to try this because I recently tried the Soap and Glory like illuminating primer and that primer was so pretty. I don't want to swatch it just yet because like, I don't know, I'm weird like that. But W7 is known for duping products so I'm wondering what this is a dupe of. But you'll see what I mean when I show you the two other products. So up next is the W7 Genius Feather Light Foundation. This is obviously a dupe for the Catrice Foundation. This is in the shade Natural Beige and surprisingly it looks a little dark but I feel like I can make it work because I do have a white foundation that I can always mix in with this. And then this is the W7 Legend Lasting Wear Foundation. Obviously a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Sorry, Kala's talking. Um, this is in the shade Buff, and yes, it was sealed. Like, you can tell when stuff's been peeled and stuck back, but I feel like this has not been used. So I'm super excited about that. And I actually do have the Double Wear Foundation I bought at... TJ Maxx, so I'm excited to compare the two. But yeah, all right. Getting back to more products, I picked up this Misha, Misha, per M Perfect Cover BB Cream. In it, it says the BB Cream innovate innovatively pairs makeup and skincare with a BB Cream that helps brighten skin tone, care wrinkles, prevent signs of aging, and heal blemishes while providing an excellent coverage. Now, this is a really interesting, this is a nice package for BB cream. This is in the shade N, 
or number 13 in bright beige. It does has, have SPF 42, which is such an interesting number because like normally it's like 40 or 30, not like 42. So I thought that was really cool. I went on a bit of a foundation run. Okay, don't judge me. Ooh. Last one. I got the Beauty Glazed Tender the Skin Gilding and Conceal Liquid Foundation Oil Control Gold in the shade 103 Warm Peach. Hi, Kala. So, what is, where is the... I love the little, like, usage on the side. It says, usage. After cleansing and toning, apply an appropriate amount of this product evenly on the face. Evenly on the face. Apply it completely along the skin texture and gently pat until it's absorbed. So I just thought that was kind of funny. It doesn't say what it does on the outside, but I do love how Korean makeup has, like, the manufacture date and the expiration date. Like, that's just so awesome. Does it say on here? Nope. But I think if I remember correctly, this is more of a high coverage foundation. And that's a pretty decent size tube. This is... 1.5 fluid ounces. Um, there's no SPF in it. This guy is 0.9. One fluid ounce, which is pretty typical. One ounce. And then this guy is... There's one... Uh, oh, 1.7 fluid ounces. So, yeah. Anyway. Alright. Enough makeup for a second. We're gonna go on. So, you guys. I finally bought myself some jogger scrubs. I have wanted jogger scrubs ever since I got a job in healthcare. My last job, I could not find a decent pair of jogger scrubs that weren't, like, superly expensive. And now that I got this new job, and they had them pretty cheap in the size I needed and the color I needed, I picked them up. So these are going to be for work. Obviously not for right now because I'm not going back to work for a little bit. But yeah, ironically, I got another thing for work. So a lot of the nurses had this at my old job, and I thought it was really cool. But it's this little light that, like, is has magnets on both ends, and you can clip it to your shirt, and you just turn it on, and it's a super bright light, so you can see in the dark because I work night shift. So, I don't always want to turn on the patient light, but I'm not going to, like, so there is the white light, and then it also has a red light, and then has a flashing light. I'm not going to leave it on long because in case people who are watching this have seizures, I don't want to cause anybody to have seizures. But yeah, so I thought that was super cool, and this does come with a little screwdriver, so you can replace the battery, which is awesome. Um, it also smells like like rubbing alcohol, which is not fun. Got my cat some, some wet food. It's just in this box. Leona really likes uh, the Sheba Perfect Portion. And it also comes with a sticky notepad, which I thought was kind of cool. But I'm not going to open it just because like, I don't need them right now. And then this is something completely random, but if you know me, I'm completely random. And yes, I know it's not Christmas, but I do not care. Because I bought the Clinique Advent Calendar, the 24 Days of Clinique. Do I care that it's no longer Christmas? No. But surprisingly, in September, brands start releasing their Advent Calendars. So you bet your bottom dollar, I'm going to be filming an unboxing of this advent calendar. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. 
But anyway, you guys, I'm going to hop off here, get some food, and probably go to bed because I am exhausted. So with that being said, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!